Welcome, I'm out and about. I'm at the 2017 Vaughn International Spring Launch. I'm here with a gentleman. You're the former media director, a spokesman for the uh, Prime Minister Stephen Harper's office. You're running as an MPP for uh, Vaughn King Riding for the, uh, the Ontario Provincial PC Party, Stephen Lecke. Yes. Thank you so much, Reg. I appreciate you having me on today. What I wanted to talk to you, we're at a film festival right now. You're mentioning that your uncle was involved as an actor. You want to talk a little bit about that and how important you think the Vaughn Film Festival is to the community? Well, you know, I'll say this. Uh, I know you've been coming out of the film festival for many, many years. So kudos to you and to your partner in crime in uh, promoting this festival. Because I got to say, the Vaughn Film Festival really is at the heart of the arts community in the city of Vaughn. It does really amazing work. I mean, they not only nurture talent, local talent here, they also promote creativity and innovation within private enterprise, particularly, you know, young people are trying to enter into both the digital side of, uh, of uh, movie production, but also being an actor. Uh, and I think the creative industries are part of the future of this province, so I'm a big proponent of it. Uh, both uh, Tony and Mark, the founders, I mean, they've done an amazing work. And this year, it is now international. It's official. It's the Vaughn International Film Festival. And they're doing some really great, cool work to not just put it on the map as one of the great film festivals on this continent, but they've been able to attract some amazing people to come to it, and they've nurtured great talent in it. And uh, yeah, you're right. My uncle is an actor, Frank Crudell. He's also my godfather, God bless him, uh, living out in British Columbia these days. And, you know, he supported Canadian content for many years, doing Radio Canada and CBC documentaries, movies. He's done work in Europe uh, and across, really, the world. And he's always said to me, you know, be a supporter of, our, of the arts. You know, support those people, particularly our young people that want to you know, make a career, be it in film, uh, be it in, you know, uh, uh, in the various forms of arts and culture that exist, but particularly in the film, uh, and as well as in plays that exist, you know, support them, enable them to succeed. And, you know, I'm a conservative and I support the arts. That's not a, those, that's not an incompatible principle, and always saying that some people may think so, but, you know, it's a driver to our economy. They produce billions of dollars, and I think we need to do a better job at attracting film production to Toronto, to the GTA and to Ontario, because it creates jobs, and it actually could help support economic growth in Ontario, and I want to see more of that in King, in the township of King, and in the city of Vaughan. You're running right now uh, to, to win the uh, MPP riding for, you know, King Vaughan. What I want you to talk about now, and then you've been nominated for the, the, the run for the Ontario Progressive Conservative Party. What are some of the main things that you're seeing, not only in Vaughan, but in, in King, that need to be addressed? Well, look, right off the top, the number one issue, and I'm sure it's an issue that affects your viewers, affects yourself and your family, is hydro. I think, you know, the, the cost of living is... Uh, got out of control. I think life is harder under Kathleen Wynne. I think families, middle class families, seniors, veterans, people across um, the income brackets, all of us. I mean, those who are younger, I'll tell you to my 93-year-old grandmother who's, you know, uh, struggling, I think, to pay her hydro bill. Everyone is worse off under Kathleen Wynne. And, you know, my message to folks watching tonight and over the coming months and over the next year of campaigning, uh, 14 months ago, but I'm not counting, by the way, but is look, you know, there is going to be a positive, optimistic option for change, positive change. And I believe in our leader, Patrick Brown. And I think the number one solution is to tackle affordability for middle class people. We've got to get that under control. We've got to lower taxes. We've got to get our hydro rates under control. Now, just for context, I mean, in 2003, when the Liberals came to power, hydro was about four cents um, per kilowatt hour. It's now 400 percent higher, over 18 cents higher. So look, I mean, no government is perfect, but that is just absolute incompetence. And it's costing middle class folks who did everything right. You know, I met a, a senior in Maple, Ontario, just, well, you know, just a few minutes from where we are tonight at the, uh, at the Vaughn, um, Vaughn Mills Mall. And Reg, you know, they, the, the, the wonderful Italian couple did everything right, worked hard, immigrated this country, paid down their debt, paid, were mortgage free in their house within a few years of coming here, helped their children go to school. Like, I mean, these are model citizens and there's so many of them. And yet now they're paying, you know, two, 300% more on their hydro bill. They're actually energy poor. And their only asset is their home. They have to sell their home to live. I just think that's unacceptable. And I think these people deserve government to be on their side, not on their back. And this is where I think Patrick Brown could be an optimistic 
option for people, that we there is actually hope on the horizon, give us a chance, you know, choose a party that's going to fight for middle class families. And look, you know, we're here at a film festival, so sort of make it a bit related. We've got a lot of young people here. This is a great place of incredible talent. What a ridiculous paradox. Ontario has some of the most skilled workforce in the country. In fact, we have the most skilled workforce in the world in Canada, and yet we have one of the highest youth unemployment rates. Come on, that's unacceptable. We've got great talent, we've got to get them working. We need an education system that moves them from, high, from elementary to high school to college, university, and then it leads them to a job. Education is not just an end to a means, it's got to be uh, the metric, I think, for, for education is both knowledge and employment. And I'm running with a party that's going to help get young people good jobs related to their education. I want to thank you for your time. Thank you. And I appreciate wish that. Wish you the best of luck with so your, much, when you're right. running. What is that, 2018 is the election? Yes. 14 months, but uh, I'm not counting as I say. So thanks for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. Thank you.